Change will do you good. Anyone who has met Rolly could tell you that he has more than a little bit of a sweet tooth. Every time Rolly went to town, he passed by the most wonderful bakery. In the window, the baker displayed the biggest, most beautiful cookie Rolly had ever seen. Sometimes, Rolly would just stop in his tracks and admire the cookie, hardly noticing the time pass. Next to the cookie was a sign that said how much it cost. $13.77. It was an expensive cookie, but Rolly had a plan. He knew that he could find a way to earn enough money to pay for it, and it would finally be his. Rolly rolled down the street to Floyd's house and knocked on the door. Floyd opened it, looking in a tizzy. Not now, Rolly, Floyd said out of breath. I have to iron all these tablecloths before the banquet tonight. I'd give ten dollars to have a break from all this ironing. Ten dollars, you say? That happens to be exactly how much I charge for my ironing service. Allow me, Rolly purred. Rolly rolled back and forth across the tablecloths so fast that he was just an orange blur. In no time at all, the tablecloths were flat and their wrinkles gone. Thanks, Rolly, Floyd said, a little dizzy just from watching. He handed Rolly a $10 bill. Next door in Bertie's treehouse, Bertie was yawning next to a big pile of dishes. Ooh, oh, hello, Rolly, she sighed. I've just finished brunch with all of my family, and I'm too tired to do all these dishes. Even if it cost me a whole three dollars, I'd pay someone to take care of them so I could rest. I happen to know someone perfect for the job, Rolly declared. Put your feet up and let me do the rest. Rolly spun and scrubbed in a flurry of soap suds, finishing the dishes before Bertie could even fluff her pillow. You're a lifesaver, Rolly, Bertie said as she handed Rolly three one dollar bills. The cookie is thirteen dollars and seventy seven cents. And I have $13 so far. I'm so close, Rolly said. Close by, Penelope and Cuz Cuz were huffing and puffing as they tried to push a sofa across the street. It's no use, Penelope said. You don't even have hands, Cuz Cuz. Then Penelope spotted Rolly. Rolly! If you help us move this sofa, you can have all the coins that have fallen in between the cushions. You have yourself a deal, Rolly said. Rolly went to the top of a hill and tumbled down, gaining speed until he rammed into the side of the sofa, pushing it across the street and into Cuz Cuz's living room. Under the cushions, Rolly found two quarters, two dimes, and one nickel, and one penny. Seventy-six cents. Now I have thirteen dollars and seventy-six cents altogether, he hooted. The sun was setting. The bakery was about to close, and Rolly still didn't have enough for the extraordinary cookie. He made his way back home, but stopped by the bakery to see the cookie one more time. What are you up to, Rolly? said Muggo, who was passing by. Then Muggo looked up and saw the cookie. Wow, that's the most beautiful cookie I have ever seen. And I'm just one penny short, Rolly said, downcast. Just a penny? Well, here, take this one. Thank you, thank you, Muggo, 
Roly cheered, and he dashed inside. He laid out all the money he had earned on the counter. I would like that cookie in the window, please. Knowing that he had worked hard to earn it made having the cookie feel even more special. But Roly felt the greatest joy when he got to share it with all of his wonderful friends.